Verb tenses. Subtopics. What are tenses? The simple present. The present continuous slash progressive. The present perfect tense. The present perfect continuous. The simple past tense. The past continuous tense. The past perfect tense. The past perfect continuous tense. Simple future tense. The future perfect tenses. Future continuous. Subject slash verb agreement. Verb tenses. By tenses, we mean the relationship between our concept of time and the forms of verbs. Time can be seen basically in terms of present, past and future. This division corresponds to the present, past and future tenses. Each of these tenses has the simple, the perfect, the progressive and the perfect progressive tenses. The simple present. Uses. A. To indicate things which may happen at the moment at any time in the present. This is common when one talks about habits, routines, and hobbies. In this case, it is often accompanied by adverbials of time such as sometimes, never, always, often, usually, etc. Habit, he always drives to school. Routine, the earth revolves around the sun. Hobby, he likes to swim. The present continuous slash progressive. It is formed by adding the auxiliary is, am, or are to the present participle of the verb. It is used in the following situations. When something is happening at the actual time of speaking or over a period of time which includes the actual moment of speaking. E.g. You are sitting in class. For planned future action, for example. We are writing a test next week. The prisoners are trying to escape. The present perfect tense. It is formed by adding the auxiliary have slash has to the past participle of the verb. It is used in the following cases. When we talk about a recently completed action with just, already, now, and recently in statements and in questions. E.g., he has just slash already gone to school. To answer questions which contain a verb in the present perfect. E.g., where have you been? I've been to see Paul. What has happened? He has lost his bag. To express an action which began in the past and is still taking place. I have played handball for some years, implying I still play. He has worked here for a long time, he still works here. It should be noted that the auxiliary can be shortened to VE for have and S for has. The present perfect continuous. Formed by adding has slash have plus been plus present participle. It is used for an action which has been happening for some time and is still continuing or has just stopped. It is often used with since plus a definite or point of time. We can also use it with for plus a length or period of time. I have been waiting for you for 30 minutes. They have been playing football since morning. The simple past tense. Uses. Mainly for completed past actions when the time is known or stated. I carried out an experiment last night. John went to the hospital yesterday. To describe habitual past actions. She always walked to school. The past continuous tense. Form was slash were plus a present participle. Uses. To express a past action which was happening when another action was completed. I saw him when I was walking home. She lost the keys when she was playing handball. To express two past actions which happened at the same time and which were both continuous. I was singing while they were dancing. To show what was happening at a past time. At 10 o'clock last night, I was watching television. To replace the present continuous in reported speech. Direct, he said, I'm looking for my keys. Indirect slash reported, he said he was looking for his keys. Used for a cancelled future action. I was going to buy a test tube when Mary said she has already bought one for me. The past perfect tense. Form, had plus a past participle. Uses. To show which of two past actions happened first. In this case. The verb of the second action is in the simple past tense. She went to bed after she had locked the door. I had gone to the market when you called. Used in reported speech. John told us that he had just passed his driving test. Used in conditional sentences which refer to the past. If you had passed your exams, you would have gone on holidays. Used after I wish, if only, I would rather and I would sooner when referring to a past event. I wish I had not spent all the money. I would rather you had not given him much water. 
If only the teacher had been here. The past perfect continuous tense. Form, had been plus a present participle. We can use this tense when the first of two past actions were continuous. We stopped for a rest after we had been walking for two hours. By the time he came home, she had been crying. Simple future tense. Form, shall slash will plus infinitive without to. In statements, we can use will with any subject but some people prefer to use shall after I and we. In questions, we must use shall before I and we. The main use of the simple future tense is for planned or unplanned future events. Planned, Mary's phone will arrive at 2 o'clock. Unplanned, who will win the race? Future continuous. Form, shall slash will plus be plus present participle. Uses. To express action which will be in progress at some time in the future. We shall be waiting for you at 4 o'clock. To express the future without intention, not especially planned. He will be coming here tomorrow as usual. NB to express doubt, we can use may in place of shall or will. He may be coming here tomorrow. The future perfect tenses. Form, shall slash will plus have plus a past participle, non-continuous. Shall plus have plus been plus a present participle, continuous form. The future perfect tense is used to express an action which will be completed or finished by some future time or date. I shall have finished my assignment by 10 o'clock. Future perfect. By the end of the semester, I shall have been learning English for 10 years, future perfect continuous. Subject slash verb agreement. In constructing sentences in English language, the various parts of speech must agree with each other. The verb must agree with its subject in number. A singular subject takes a singular verb, while a plural subject takes a plural verb e.g. The cups are in the cupboard. Cups, plural subject, agrees with R, plural verb. Note that a verb that takes an S, is not a plural verb. It rather agrees with singular pronoun subjects except for I and you which agree with the plural that does not take an S e.g. He makes it. She makes it. It makes it. That slash this makes it. Nobody makes it. Everybody makes it. Everyone makes it. They make it. We make it. I make it. You make it. If this presentation has helped you press the subscribe button for more. Like and share with friends.